The Recoil by Pro Boat is a fast, well-built, no-fuss RC boat that comes ready to run. Just add four AA batteries to the transmitter, charge your boat battery, and you're ready to go. The speed and performance is insane for this small of a boat, thanks to its brushless 2950 kb marine motor. Now, I don't have a radar gun, but it's advertised at 25 miles per hour, and it handles itself very, very well at this speed. Um, certainly for this small of a boat, it looks like it's going really fast, and I wouldn't doubt that this is going over 25 miles per hour. All of the components inside and outside this boat are high quality. The hull is a really sturdy plastic. Now, it's not as nice looking as a fiberglass body, but I like the plastic because it's more durable. I've had fiberglass boats in the past, and they just end up cracking and rotting. What makes this hull so special is its ability to quickly turn itself right side up. As you'll see in the video, this boat is really hard to flip, even when it goes underwater. If your boat does end up upside down, there's so much torque in this motor that just a tap on the throttle will spin your boat back over. And the hull's pretty watertight. The most I've ever had leak in was about two tablespoons, and that's because I was running through rough water and the boat did a couple dolphin dives. That just means, you know, I hit a wave just right and the boat kind of dove down underneath, fully submerged underwater, and just float right back up to the surface, right side up. It's pretty entertaining to watch, um, and you can adjust how much it does that by adjusting your trim tabs in the back, and I'll get more into that in just a second. Usually you'll only see the water intake on your rudder or somewhere like a pipe dropping down on the back of your boat. What's interesting about the recoil is the water pickup is actually underneath the boat. It's this little tab right here. And the advantage of that is it has a shorter area to travel to get to cool your motor and your speed control, which is nice. Now the tabs and fins are gonna make the recoil super stable. You usually only see these on more expensive models and they make a huge difference in performance. First you have your fins. Now these are going to keep your boat going nice and straight even when you're at an aggressive turn. As you can see they're kind of pointed out diagonally. So if you're turning this way or this way you're always going to have a fin sticking in the water like it's on rails. So they recommend that you keep your fin at about a 45 degree angle. So if you just imagine a perfect corner, uh, one line going straight down, one going back, you want that pointed about halfway down. That's going to be a 45 degree angle and you guys can adjust these uh, to get the exact performance that you want. Next you have your trim tabs. These are going to help uh, for two different reasons. Uh, first of all to counteract weight that you have in your boat. So you know if you have your battery on the left side um, you know you'll notice your boat kind of running at a bit of a tilt if you don't address uh, adjust the tabs on the bottom. So my trim tab on the left side has a little bit more of an angle down that way when it's running it will keep the boat nice and level. Um, also, depending on how rough the water is, you can adjust them down. If you point them down more, that's gonna keep your boat more level. If it's uh, rough water, if you guys are running some bigger waves, you can push them up and that's gonna keep the nose up. And then you have your really nice uh, big aluminum rudder back here, which is gonna help cut down on drag, really slice through the water and it just looks really nice. Now I've also reviewed the FT009 racing boat. This one does not have a brushless motor, but to show you guys the difference in size uh, that a brushless motor makes, um, just look at the difference. So you can see in there, you got this huge clunky motor right here, and then it's kind of hard to see in the recoil, but your little brushless motor is right here. It's pretty amazing the size difference, and your brushless motor is going to give you better, way better performance than this thing. So very similar in size. If you guys want to check out the review on the FT009, you can. It's a little bit slower. Um, it doesn't have as nice components. It's still a fast boat, but um, you know your recoil is going to scream in comparison. And the next in here underneath this panel, you're going to find you know on and off button, and then also how fast you want your boat to go and how fast you want it to turn. So if you're giving this, let's say, to a kid or someone who's never driven a boat before, you can go ahead and turn this all the way down to zero. Your boat's going to go really slow. Um, or you know, if you want to go to five, then you know your boat's going to go at about half speed. Um, steering as well. If you notice your boat when you turn it, it's just turning too fast and you're losing control of it. Go ahead and turn your steering down. Uh, this also depends on how big of a lake. If you're if you have a big lake and if you're going to be making wide turns, you know you can adjust that. Or if you're in a smaller pool, you want to turn the steering all the way up to 10. 
So that's kind of a cool feature to have. The inside components is what really makes the recoil stand out. There's some similar models out there, but they lack some of the quality components that you get with this boat, like the Marine Radio, Motor, and ESC. I'll go over these more in depth on our website, so if you guys want to check those out, i put a link in the description below. Now the first thing you want to do when you're done running your boat is obviously turn it off. There is a switch inside, which is nice. Uh, then unplug your battery and dry it out inside. You know, even if you don't see a lot of water in there, you want to get that moisture out. You don't want it sitting around. So make sure to leave the top off for a couple hours after running your boat. The last thing I want to go over is the battery life. If you have the throttle full open the whole time, you'll only get around four minutes of runtime. And that's because this brushless motor is so powerful and they give you the option to go super fast. Now I like to run mine at around half speed, which is still plenty fast. I really like the speed of this boat, even at half throttle and your battery will last twice as long. There's also a spare 2100 milliamp hour battery, which you can buy for around 20 bucks and that will give you a few extra minutes of runtime. Now you gotta make sure to let your boat cool down plenty before tossing in another battery in there. Same goes with your LiPo battery. Let it cool down for about 45 minutes before charging it. If you guys wanna see more pictures and read more about the recoil, I added a link to my website below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my future reviews. And if you have any questions about this boat, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching.